In the previous video, we discussed the mechanism of pinacol rearrangement. In this lecture, we will study the rearrangement in more detail. So let's begin with an example of a symmetrical diol. When this 1,2 diol is treated with an acid, mechanism begins with protonation of one of the hydroxyl groups, followed by the loss of water. Here we condense the mechanism. In the next step, CH2 group of 5-membered ring migrates and newly formed carbocation is stabilized by delocalization of a lone pair of an attached oxygen. Therefore, 5-membered ring expands to a 6-membered ring. Finally, deprotonation completes the mechanism and the product is a bicyclic ketone. So with symmetrical diol, it doesn't matter which hydroxyl group is protonated and leaves, nor which adjacent carbon-carbon bond migrates. Now let's see what happens with unsymmetrical diols on treatment with an acid. In case of unsymmetrical diols, the migratory aptitude of some groups comes into play. This order determines which side loses the hydroxyl group as well as this order enhances the carbocation stability. Once the hydroxyl group is gone, the migrating group is determined. For example, this is an unsymmetrical diol. If this side loses hydroxyl group, the resulting carbocation is stabilized by two hydrogen atoms. And if this side loses, the hydroxyl group after protonation, the resulting carbocation is stabilized by two methyl groups, hence more stable. In the next step, hydrogen migrates and finally deprotonation gives us the final product. Next example. In this case, if protonation occurs on this side, the carbocation is stabilized by two methyl groups. But protonation on this side generates a carbocation which is stabilized by two phenyl groups. So a methyl group from the adjacent carbon with its bonding electrons migrates And finally, deprotonation gives us the final product. Now the next example. In this case, like those previous examples, the carbocation formed is stabilized by two phenyl groups and that is more stable. Then CH2 group of five-membered ring migrates and finally, deprotonation gives us the final product. So that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.